All right, guys, I'm going to jump into three tips that are going to really help your adrenal fatigue and everything else. If you have questions on what adrenal fatigue is, or you're like, do I have that? Is that me? Put your questions down in the comments below. Um, I do check the comments. I do answer them. For, so for some people, they're like, oh my gosh, adrenals. That means that I would have to be exhausted and sleep all day. I don't sleep all day, but I am really tired all day. Does that count, right? Yes, it does. Put your questions down below and I will do my best to help respond um, as accurately as possible to you. Um, but these are things that it is really helpful to get your specific hormone test on and I'll show you that in just a minute. But I do want to jump into the three things that you can do right now if you are exhausted, if you are feeling like you are super fatigued and you're not sure what to do next. I all like, oh, I got to do something. I am dragging my butt here. It is the beginning of the year. I want to have a good year and I'm really struggling right off the get-go. How many of you have felt like that, right? How many of you felt like, like, oh, what a month this week has been, right? Holy cow. Yeah, it's really rough for a lot of people. You are not alone. So the first thing to do, and I talk about this a lot, I say this a lot, but this is applicable for so many different health things for females to get enough of in their body is protein. Get enough protein in your body. This will help your system. If you have adrenal fatigue, if you have stress issues, cortisol response issues, things like that, you're exhausted, you have a lot of stress, your system is gonna need more protein to do the same job that protein used to do. So just getting the same amount of protein, if you're like, yeah, I eat, I eat an okay amount, you know, okay. Well, your body is going through something new and different now and it needs more. Does it matter where you get the protein from? No, there are so many different sources of protein out there. You can use shakes, bars, things like that. Um, does collagen count as more protein? Not necessarily because it's not a complete protein. These are all things that I teach you when we work together. Specifics that actually help you get the right results and keep them. So you need to increase your proteins, but it needs to be a complete protein for your system. That's really, really, really important. And you can notice an improvement in some of your issues right away, right away. Second thing is you will need one to two rest days at least, at least in between working out, being active, having a stressful event, that type of a thing. So for example, say you're exhausted and you're like, I don't even have the energy to go to the gym. There's no way I can get there. Oh, okay. But you have a big work project or something where you get completely wiped out. But you're like, gosh, I have this other thing I'm supposed to do at home. I, I really need to reorganize my pantry or I got to clean the house. I really have to clean the house. Do not try and force yourself to actually clean the house right the next day after you just did this big work project. That's too much on your system. It's too much on your adrenals if they're burned out. Yeah, way too much. Literally plan it for a day where you're like, oh, this was kind of an easy day. Maybe I'll tackle some of that overcrowded pantry today. Great. Or... Recruit help, find a friend to help you, find somebody to help you so the task is not quite as daunting, but also give yourself those rest days in between. And if you are somebody that you're like, yeah, I can work out, but then I, I can't get to the gym every day. I'm trying to get to the gym every day and I really just can't, I'm so tired. Stop going to the gym every day. Your system might not be at a point where it can do that. If you have adrenal fatigue, you're gonna need, sometimes I tell people they need at least two to three rest days, depending on what your hormone report says. And if when you're thinking like, what is this hormone report you're talking about? <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. It is the Dutch report. Dutch stands for drag urine test for comprehensive hormones. We are checking your estrogens, progesterones, androgens, testosterones, cortisols, adrenals, nutrient levels, neurotransmitter levels, all of it. It takes me an hour to go over this report with you because it's so extensive. Seriously. So we see what your adrenals are actually doing and how they're functioning. Right? We see that. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I need this test, here we go. I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to get on the next wait list for the next female hormone solution challenge that I have. Yeah. So I'm putting that wait list there in the comments. Make sure you get on this wait list because you are not going to want to miss out on this. Um, the wait list does fill. I can only take so many people in the group each time I run it. So, but you will get your own test. We go over it. You get customized recommendations, protocols, everything. And you really get to understand where you are at, at the beginning of this. Stop thinking that this is your fault. Stop thinking that you're lazy. You're not lazy. Your adrenals are just wiped out, right? Imagine trying to go start your car and the engine, right? Doesn't start like, like, oh, I'm going to start my car, but 
I left the you know overhead light on all night and you can't start your car because the battery's dead. You need a jump, right? And even then you have to get the car running for a certain amount of time. Imagine having an empty battery every day and it can wear that battery out super fast. I'm not a car expert, but everybody has had this happen before, right? Where you go to start your car and it doesn't start. Ooh, yeah. Um, ooh, really good question. I've had a uterine ablation. I don't have periods anymore. Can I still get a Dutch? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. Yep. We will still look at all of your levels. Mm-hmm. Yes. Excellent, excellent question. Yeah. But the rest days here are really, really important. And sometimes, again, I make very specific recommendations for you based on what we're seeing on your report. Yeah. The last piece here um, to talk about is getting supplements in. <laughs> getting the right supplements in. Now, do you take the same supplements for adrenal fatigue for everybody? Not necessarily. But there are some that are sort of ubiquitous for everybody that are really, really helpful and they are called adaptogens. So I actually just created an adaptogen. I don't have the label on this bottle yet, <laughs> um, but this is the adrenal balance. This actually helps to um, maintain and take care of any adrenal and cortisol issues that your system has. Um, so those are available where I sell my tinctures and then there is included in this and I also recommend this for people sometimes as an extra boost, things like ashwagandha. Uh, this is just a whole separate pack of ashwagandha root powder. You can put this in a shake. You can put it in a smoothie bowl or whatever. Um, I've tried adding it to like just coffee. Not my favorite. <laughs> but if you like it, cool. Cool. Great. Just saying. You might want to add it to some things. Yes. Um, but this is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing for your adrenals. Um, but again, getting these things in the right dosages, the right amounts, all that stuff, it's really helpful if you know what your levels are and to understand getting the stuff uploaded might take some time, right? It might take some time for you because a lot of times we feel like, oh, I started taking this. I should feel it right, right away. I should feel it in the first week with adrenal fatigue. I sort of describe it like, um, like there's the bucket that you've been trying to fill. You've got a little cup and you've been trying to fill this huge bucket, right? Just, oh, let me fill up this bucket with this little cup. Okay, I'm working really hard. Everything I do that's healthy, I, I get to dump something in that bucket. Well, what if the bucket has a ton of holes in it? You're doing all the work. You're putting in all the effort. You're dumping everything as quick as you can into that bucket. But there's, there's like half of the bottom gone on the bucket and there's all these other holes in there. So no matter what you put in, everything gets taken out from the bottom of the bucket. That's adrenal fatigue. That's adrenal fatigue. So understanding that you might need something different. You might need something very specific tailored to you to actually make sure you're getting the right results and the timeline for you to have this turnaround. Everybody is different. You have been through something different. There's been a lot of stress recently. I went through and I prepped all of my Dutch reports for the week. I do that usually on the weekends. I prep um, for all my reports during the week and I go through all of them. So I went through like 20 Dutch reports today. <laughs> And I gotta tell you that there are some adrenals that are rough, rough. Like if your adrenal report, if I'm chatting with you this week and yours is up this week, we got some work to do. Yeah. So if you're feeling like, gosh, am I just crazy? Like, is this in my head? Do I really just need to get more motivated and like really want it more or something like that? No, you can want it as bad as you ever have. But if you have adrenal fatigue, you can't get anywhere. Again, it's like you can't start the car. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, let me know any other questions that you have. Of course, I do have other resources for you. My books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon talking about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. Um, I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution. And then my YouTube channel is just called Dr. Beth Westy. Um, you can subscribe to stay updated on everything that I have coming out. I've got some really fun stuff happening. Um, that's going to be taking place over the next few months here. So make sure you are, you know, liking, commenting, um, subscribing. So you get notified of all these fun things that I have coming out for the female body. Yes. Um, and then again, I would love to know in the comments, um, you know, ask me any questions that you have, or, you know, if you are wondering more about something that I covered here. So have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys later.